What's up, YouTube? It's Zach again, uh, doing another episode of Spellbook of Secret Rares. Um, if you hear any noise in the background, I apologize. It's the rest of the Underground doing Cube Tournament. Uh, there will actually be a video on that sometime in the near future, I hope. But anyway, Spellbook of Secret Rares, episode two. What the hell was Konami thinking when they made the Grand Spellbook Tower? Okay? Just to give you an idea of, you know, if you don't know what this card is for some reason, I'm going to go ahead and read off the effect for you on my handy-dandy little card rulings thing on my phone. Field spell. Once per turn, during your standby phase, if you have a spellbook-type monster on your side of the field or in your graveyard, you can return one spellbook spell card from your graveyard to the bottom of your deck, except the grand spellbook tower, then draw one card. But wait, there's more. When this card is destroyed by your opponent's card and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one spellcaster type monster from your hand or deck whose level is less than or equal to the number of spellbook spell cards in your graveyard. Okay, Konami, what the ever loving fuck were you thinking when you made this card? Like, first, it's 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 ridiculous. First of all, it's better than Gates's draw effect because all you have to do is have a spellbook somewhere, either in play or having been played at some juncture in the duel. So, you just keep drawing a free card every turn. Not to mention the fact that you, uh, I don't know, recycle your spellbook cards. That's kind of stupid. But then, so, you know, you're thinking, you're thinking, I gotta get this freaking spellbook, this this field spell off the field. I just gotta, I gotta get it off the field now. It's ridiculous. It's gotta go. He keeps drawing too much. Don't do that. You, you shouldn't do that. Because you're gonna allow them to special summon a, a spell book or a, a, a spell caster monster from from their hand or their deck and it's not going to be one like the piddly shit uh stoic of prophecy or like veiler or something like that it's gonna it's it's, it's gonna be breaker it's gonna be lila it's it's gonna be justice it's it's gonna be temperance it's it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna be high priestess this 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 field spell is the re this it's the reason why Demok cannot come back. <laughs> it is single-handedly like this and like Temperance and Justice are the reason that Demok can't come back. It's it's ridiculous. I I honestly I don't know what Konami was thinking when they made this field spell because it's absolutely busted, and you only need to run like two max in the deck because you could just keep recycling it with with spell like. Uh -huh. Konami, what the hell? Wow, Seriously, insane. not to mention right now. Sorry, my I'm, the computer's on my lap and you know it's shaking and things. Sorry. Right now, spellbook tower is like twenty. <laughs> Once Tachyon goes down, spellbook tower is going to uh, like double in in price, making the whole deck more expensive than it already is. Response? Why? Response. <laughs> Freaking why? Like, I hate this field spell so much. It's the second most broke field spell in the game. First most broke being uh, Ancient City Rainbow Ruins. But. <laughs> five effects. Five effects. I guess I'll take this one next. That's scary. But this field spell, second most broke field spell in the game. Konami, what the hell were you thinking? And this, this is my rage. This is my rage at the field spell. But, but I'm still not done raging at spell books. It, it just doesn't stop. So, uh, yeah, I'm done for now. You guys should go down here and you know, rate, comment, subscribe. You know, do your thing. Do, do what you do. We love you. Have a good day. See ya.